As you probably know, in the Bible we find the concept of forgiveness, which is uh, <laughs> a wonderful and, and remarkable and, and a wonderful thing for us, and it can help us find tremendous freedom. It can help us find release from some of the issues that we may be dealing with in our past. But in addition to forgiveness, that by itself is great, but in addition to that, we also find the concept of transformation. When we enter into a relationship with God, we are transformed. This is a word that's in the Bible, transformed. Here, this is from 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. It says this. This is in the Bible. It says, And we all who with unveiled faces contemplate the Lord's glory are being, catch the wording here, are being transformed into his image with ever-increasing glory which comes from the Lord who is the Spirit. Isn't that great? Transformed into the likeness of Christ. The concept is also, uh, sometimes it's spoken of as being made new. So one of the powerful realities of, of these truths is this. Ready? This is wonderful. This is great news. Your past and my past, whatever's happened back there, it doesn't have to determine who we are now. Hey, look, all of us have things in our past, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you and me. We can look back, all of us can look back at mistakes and errors and some moments in the past of really, really bad, bad judgment. Things we've done that we regret, wish we never did it. Oh my goodness, wish I never would have. And here's the problem though. Some people occasionally find themselves getting stuck back there. They get stuck in the past. I've had a little bit of trouble with this myself. We, we feel like we're trapped or, or you, you can start to feel like you're defined forever by these things that happened in the past. See, the good news, uh, part of the wonderful news of God and his work in our lives is, uh, among other things, is this. Ready? Oh, this is so good. Take this in. Your past does not have to determine who you are now. Isn't that good? Yeah. Now, this doesn't mean that we, uh, that we deny the past, or we ignore the past, or we pretend that some of the things that happened in the past never actually happened. No, no, no. Not saying that. Not at all. We can acknowledge the past. We can own up to the past. In fact, it'll be to our benefit if we do. There are some lessons for us from the past that we need to remember. Absolutely. But here's the deal. We can move forward, too. We can move forward beyond whatever it is that happened, whatever happened in the past. Again, here's the thing I want you to get the, the, from, from this video. These things that happened in the past do not have to define us today. I, I know it almost sounds, too, <laughs> almost sounds too good to be true. I know. But we can be forgiven. That can really happen. We can be forgiven and, and we can be made new through the grace and the sanctifying work of Jesus in our lives.